hey you guys welcome back to my channel so today i have a renter friendly simple and modern kitchen makeover this kitchen makeover i wanted to have like a clean industrial kind of feel to it so that's what my kitchen looked like before this is what the kitchen looked like when i first moved into the space the backsplash above the sink was peeling literally as soon as I got into the space so obviously I want to get rid of that backsplash um it was cute at first and it's just like getting old and tacky so that's gonna go um <laughs> and that's another thing that will brighten up the space and change it up a lot just by changing up the backsplash so another thing that I want to tackle is getting rid of some of this clutter in my kitchen and this is something that's super hard for me because as I'm cooking and cleaning and moving around in the kitchen, although I do love my open cabinets, the way it looks and brightens up the space with these dark cabinets, um, it just becomes cluttered way too fast. So now that we know kind of what we're working with, let's go ahead and talk about some of the first things we're going to be doing, which is taking care of the backsplash and countertops. We're also going to be reorganizing all of the kitchen cabinets. So I think that changing up the layout will create a big impact in the space and make it look brand new without spending any type of money. And then last but not least, I would love to add some functional decor in my space and just make it look nice, but also giving me something that's useful. And yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and remove the backsplash and get into the makeover. So I'm not going to bore you guys with a tutorial about how to put up wallpaper or peel and stick tiles or whatever um, because I'm pretty sure if you're into this type of content already, you know how to do all this stuff. This is like bare minimum basic type, renter friendly type, you know, renovations. So I do want to talk about the potential um, risk that are associated with doing these type of upgrades in your space is that obviously it is a potential that it can remove the paint from the wall so just please be careful and double check with your landlord or make sure that in your lease it's okay for you to do this so this is all of that backsplash removed from the wall and i kind of like <laughs> i attempted to fold it up and like you know preserve it to where it's going to be easy for me to like stick it back up here some kind of way but when i get to that point i'll just deal with it about to go ahead and try to line up these um wall tiles and hope that we have enough to finish this whole backsplash so i really like this brand of peel and stick wall tiles that i found on amazon i will try to link everything down below in the description box so make sure y'all check that out if you're interested in anything you see in the video and i really like it because it was easy for me to match up the pieces and not have to like do a lot of guesswork about where each piece will go and i definitely recommend mapping this out beforehand instead of doing it how i am because this is like mad ghetto <laughs> So the next thing we are going to do is clean off the counters and get ready to apply our peel and stick contact paper. For some reason it's giving like it's not trying to stick but let's just see. like right here where like it shipped off and as you can see like underneath here it's like not really attached like that so I think I'm gonna have to use either like super glue or um, hot glue honestly to stick that up there and make sure it's secure for when I'm like wiping the counters down and stuff so happy with the way this looks like it looks so good but like tell me this doesn't look good like i really really love this so so much i cannot wait to have everything how i want it to be because i don't really know at the moment <laughs> so yeah 
that's where I'm gonna cut it off for now but I will come back in a second when I figure out what's going on so the first thing I thought of was number one I want this to be very very affordable if I don't have to spend money or anything I'm definitely not trying to so we have to get really really crafty so I had this wooden contact paper from previous like projects that I wanted to do and I thought like you know what I have so many Amazon boxes your girl loves to order off Amazon so I was like you know what instead of trying to like organize all this stuff that I have in my cabinets and make it like visible what if I was to hide it in some kind of like box or something but still have it look cute you know storage and I was going to do the sides y'all but when I put it up in the shelf you literally cannot even see it so I'm gonna leave it like that for now and save the rest of my contact paper for later projects okay so literally 2.22 so I went ahead and reorganized and rearranged a lot of the things that I had in my open cabinets I put a lot of things underneath where there is closed shelving so that is not visible and I went ahead and cleaned off the shelves and did all that nice and good stuff little chester dresser thing and so I'm just gonna keep the table right here for now these books and this photo of me and my twin brother um, that I want to put up on this shelf as well this one needs to be wiped off so I'm probably just gonna wipe all of them off and then set them up on the shelf I have these gold measuring cups and spoons that I want to hang up and I found these like hooks laying around in my house. I'm trying to make stuff as decorative and as functional as possible so I think this is really cute and I'll always be able to see my measuring cups when I need them. So I have this cookbook that I thrifted a little while ago. And I've been wanting to put it up in my kitchen somewhere, but I never had anywhere to put it. So I figured now would be the perfect time to use this shelf. Set the book on there. And I thought that would be really cute. So I also have this hack that I just learned. Because I don't know about y'all, but I literally don't like to measure. I don't like to use levels. I don't like to do any of that. But I saw this hack on TikTok. And pretty much what you do is you take some clear tape. Lay it out just like that on the top. And this tape is not not sticky at all, so that's kind of a plus in my favor. So as y'all can see, I have it like taped off where the holes need to be drilled at. So then you take a sharpie, I have this pink one, and you just mark where you're going to want to put a nail in the wall, just like that on both sides. After I have the tape placed where I want it to be hung at on the wall, um, you can take some nails or whatever you want to use to hang up, whatever you're hanging up, and just bang it on in there. And it should be pretty much exactly where the holes line up.
looks very, very good. Let me see if I put the book in there, how will it look? Wow, gorgeous. So for some reason I didn't already have a backsplash on this side of the wall next to the stove but because I did have a little bit of extra tile left over from my backsplash I decided to take care of that and like minimize the amount of dirt and grease that got over there. So then I have another like peel and stick project and again I wanted to cut the cards anywhere I can so because I already had this um, wooden crate that I got from I don't even know like Walmart or something I decided to put some more of that wood grain contact paper on it to conceal it and make it like a brand new wooden box and then I'm gonna put my little trash bags and then throw these little vines that I got from Amazon up here hanging out like crazy not too close to the trash can though but I think that is so cute. So here's the final reveal of the renter friendly kitchen upgrades that I did and I'm absolutely like in love with my kitchen. I have not left out of my kitchen since I filmed this video you guys. I think the thing that I'm most proud about in this space is not only the way it came out but the fact that I was able to use things that I already had and kind of make them look brand new in a way like none of these things were bought, none of these things were brand new essentially um and i was able to give a whole new feel to my space and i'm super excited about that